Oh, Space Zelda! How did, how did you reach me through time? Don't you mean every when? I kind of figured that one out already, Mika. Will you stop bringing your dad into everything? Oh, my dad told me this, my dad told me that. What? This... You you mentioned this now? It... Tetra... Yes, fine. This is, You just thrusted this upon me. Completely. It's not like, hey, your uncle's been kidnapped. Go find him and adventure around the island. Says, hey, this and that and this and that. Shit out of nowhere. Look at the blood. What? How the fuck do you know that's a tetrad? Also, you haven't deduced it by now. A tetrad is a Tetris piece. Let me spell that out for you. We're traveling through time to collect... Here's yourself. Magic Tetris pieces. Uh, 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 okay. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Well, we're gonna use the magic time travel book again. This is not radical. This is stupid. I hope you warp into a black hole. Gee, I wonder where we are. It's got to be Egypt. It doesn't have to be Egypt. You stupid head. Shut up! Our Queen's Barge. Oh boy, well, let's go into the Queen's Barge and see what this is. Hi, Kitty! The hell were you, Kitty? Tch, cats. Queens. Who are you? She's a knockout! the least of our worries. The queen expects me. How would you... Mm. Yeah, bow down. Oh, I get it. Are you gonna bite her in the boob? I hope you do. I had a sniffle. Hi, Cleopatra. So, I'm a time traveler looking for magical Tetris pieces. Hi! What, what, why are you not beheading me for being a heretic? Oh, okay. Well, what, what, what do we gotta do, Cleopatra? What? 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 I'm sorry, I think my common sense just exploded. Let me try to rephrase that without dying. We have to go get a pizza for Queen Cleopatra in ancient Egypt. <laughs> Stupidity is killing me here. <laughs> God. Okay, now there's a secret over here. Between these two palm trees, there's a secret passage. And a little hut. Jack of all trades. 1801, the revolution had been won, and Uncle Sam's favorite son had a job he needed done. Man, I wish it was him. Yes, you can get a bronze dagger, which is an upgrade to your uh, axe. You wouldn't normally get this until after you got Cleopatra's Pizza. 
sir. But you can get it here early. So, let's go through a dangerous monster-infested cave in order to... I can't even talk. I, I'm just... Uh, in order to get pizza. Yeah, you can see the hut from down here and you'd be like, Hey, how do you get to that place? Hey, it's the rockin' music again. It's the bat, we got spiders. Take two hits from even this powerful dagger. Which is what we're gonna be using for about, what, half the game? Hey, it's a Cyclops thing. Oh look, a tile. Here's another fun improvement over Star Tropics 1 that I like. You can just walk on the tiles and find out which ones actually uh, trigger stuff. In this case, this one triggers a uh, sling. Which is pretty cool, but hell, we got a dagger. And we're throwing it, which I guess kind of makes sense, because I, I guess it's like a throwing dagger. Okay. Jeez. Fun thing about diagonal walking is you can just walk on that platform. Neat. Hee hoo oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Watch out, those spiders are... Spider, get up here. Okay. Got rid of that spider. Oh, this one's... Oh! It's that bitch hedgehog! Ah! Fuck. Kill those stupid hedgehogs and... Oh, this is a tough little room. Now watch out, those uh, Cyclops guys don't give you uh, much room to maneuver. They're pretty quick. Ah, uh, we got them. EIP scorpions! Well, what do you expect from the fucking desert? All the scorpions really do is just walk around and be menacing. Nothing you can't handle. Yay, a secret en entrance thing. Now we have cloaked orb things that will reveal themselves by opening their eyes. You, whoa, you kill them all and you open up a secret. Hey, the medicine's back in full force. Though you could have guessed that by the fact that the uh, little display that shows your stars and stuff also shows how much medicine you have. You probably noticed that well into this. I mean, we're 25 minutes into the recording, so... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck! Yeah, that right there is another flaw with Star Tropics. Not that much invincibility time. You can get your health drained in, like, two fucking seconds. So let's try that again. Once more with feeling. Kill the damn things that are charging after me. Okay, we got those. Now let's just get the hedgehogs. Good! We did much better that time. Okay. Now let's actually try to beat the dungeon without being a fucking idiot and getting our asses killed. And I made it all the way to Chapter 3 without getting killed in Star Trek. I, pretty much the end of Chapter 3, too. And I get my ass killed here. Let that set the tone for the rest of Star Fucking Tropics the Second. Oh god. I knew what I was getting myself into when I decided, hey, I'm gonna do Star Tropics 1. I, I gotta show off Star Tropics 2 as well because Lord knows nobody else is gonna show up. This series is essentially dead and this might be why. Or also the fact that they decided to release a goddamn 8 bit game in 1994. Well, that might be a, a good reason why the series died too. You never know. Oh, hey, a boss. A giant scorpion. It doesn't attack you unless you kill the baby scorpions. Then it gets mad and it shoots a spread of bullets. So, just sort of kill him. If the baby scorpions get in your way, kill them too. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
You have medicine? In case you... No. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, Mr. Scorpion. D shit! I ran into a oh, fucking... I hate this game sometimes. There will be none of that. Okay, you're gone. You're gone. You're done. You're done, you fucking bastard.